When you're here, you have to come into this magical world of stand-up comedy in this, in this room where, I, where no one's going to put you down. And you know what you're going to discover? And here's the spooky thing. Here's what's weird about it. You're going to say this awful, terrible, horrible thing. And you're not going to find, you're going to be afraid that people will dislike you. And what you're going to discover is that you'll have peers. Yeah. <laughs> and the people going, oh yeah, me too. <laughs> I think that same thing. Oh my God, I didn't think anybody thought that. <laughs> you see? Because likability in stand-up comedy does not come from being nice. <laughs> Stand-up comedy is not a nice art form. If you think you're going to get up here and be nice and sweet to everybody, you're entirely mistaken. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a nice art form. You're not nice to people. You really aren't. <laughs> Likeability does not come from being nice in stand-up comedy. It comes from vulnerability. Where people go, wow, me too. God, I feel those same things. I've been, I'm too afraid to admit that publicly. And when that happens, people then start to fall in love with you. They start, you know, they start, they empathize with you. They, they sympathize with you. They become on your side. You start getting fans and stuff. And that's what you're after in stand-up comedy. And that's what you're after is that voice, that internal voice coming out. And that's where we start with a rant. We start with a rant to get you to start used to that and stuff.